Welcome back to Plug and Play EV, I'm Steve, and in this video we'll be looking at the J Plus Booster 2, a portable charge unit that can be used at home or on the move to keep your EV juiced up. Let's give it a test. Carry case, which I've dusted up a little bit, but it's for camping and gear, so no problem there. I've had that in the car as we've driven around and it's got this nice kind of Velcro fastening that's secure on the back to keep you uh, all in place. So let's unzip it and see what we get in the box. Nice chunky case. It's got hard shell around the pieces that matter. So it's gonna keep the unit protected. And as I say, that's Velcroed down. So as you come into the box here, this is for another video. That is a uh, one of the adapters that's going to go on the end here. So what we have is two common or the more common household and the all imported NEMA 1450, which is the 240 volt. This is the 120 volt, your regular household outlet. So that's gonna give you a very limited, maybe three to five miles an hour, depending on your EV and efficiency. Whereas this one is going to give you the business and go all the way up to the full 9.6 kilowatts, up to 250 volts, 50 amp circuit, down to minus 30 degrees Celsius, which is minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit operating temperature on the low end, and then up to 50 degrees Celsius and 122 degrees Fahrenheit on the high end. This is the main unit. It comes with a protective insert to keep that in place and already you're feeling very solid. This is a metal casing with some very galvanized rubber. Uh, cable isn't super thick. We can compare that to our wall-mounted Autel unit. And then you've got the familiar J1772. On the handle with its rubber cap to keep the schmutz out when it's mounted on the wall or just out in the wilderness. This is your adapter end. Yep. We'll take a look at putting it all together in a sec, but that has a rubber cap as well to protect it. And then you've got your various power levels here from six amps all the way up to 40 amps. And this is a smart sensing unit. So it's going to do all the uh, figuring out what you what the circuit can take in the background itself, uh, select the right amperage, and you're not gonna have to worry about that or any overpowering the circuit. So this is gonna be a good unit for people who maybe have varying amperages, maybe go to different places, campsites, different homes, that kind of thing. Uh, this will do that unit all in one for you. And those simple, small and portable extension units work pretty good. And you've got the wall holster. That's gonna be for mounting it. A couple of uh, screws and hardware just to use this wall mounting bracket, which will hold it and can actually be used to secure it with a padlock as well. And uh, not too much more. For set up with a really nice pack. You've got a zipper here for documents and to keep your various pieces. And this came with it. So you've got the J Plus Booster 2 user manual. And then a uh, welcome letter, just saying, this is a sustainably produced product. It gives you the 84 kilograms of carbon dioxide, including adapters and transport. And they plant a tree for every J Plus booster that they produce. So it's a nicely produced bit of uh, literature. Lots of stuff in there. And let's take a look at it all laid out here. Okay, so in true manly man style, we'll completely forget about the instructions and plug it in and see if it works. So you've got your color coordinated areas for the adapters to go on. And we'll be trying it with the NEMA 1450 first to get the most power. And then comparing that to the power that we'll get from the regular household outlet, the 515. So you're just gonna align those up with your red dots. This pulls up and down 
to get uh, a connection. Really simple, clicks into place, no problem at all. And then you've got your full unit to use. Simple NEMA 1450, it's just gonna pop in. Fits nicely in the outlet. You'll get your detecting going on. Looks like the green light will tell us that we're able to go up to 40. And I'll figure all this out on the instructions after I do our first test. Let's see. The length of the cable, first of all. It's enough to reach from one end of the garage to the end here. And a little bit further, so we'd have some room to maneuver. Again, you've got that protective cap on the end, and then just your standard J1772 port. Nice snug feel to that. Locks into place. Charging started. That was very quick. Right away up to 9.3 kilowatts and six and a half hours through to 100%. So the car is capable of uh, up to around 11 kilowatts. So this is leaving a little on the table there at the 40 amp level, but uh, really nice for portable unit to be able to do that, to move between the different adapters there. We'll let this juice up for a little bit here and then we'll try the various adapters and uh, see how it fits in the front. That's been cranking away for a good couple of hours now. added 16%, so we'll get it unplugged and we will try the NEMA 515 plug, see how that works. Okay, so fairly simple to switch these out. You just take, as we did before, this section here, pull up the metal connector on the NEMA 1450, that detaches that. Bring over to the 515, there's the regular household. Same system, just line it up, red with red, slide it up, slot it in, clicks in place, and you have your regular household outlet charging. Okay, so did have to flip around the car to uh, get to a suitable outlet, but you can slide this in and see the Light up sequence. And you'll see now that we are down from the 40 amps that we had when we were over at the NEMA 1450 plug, which is 80% of the rated 50 amps, down to 12 amps now. So you can see it kind of tells you what it's sensing. And at different levels here, it will tell you what it's capable of doing. So we will see. Starting, starting. Again, really quick, no uh, messing around or delay. And there you see the difference. It's quite a nice stark contrast of uh, why a lot of people choose to level up to level two charging from your regular household outlet because what was taking five hours at this point to get to 100 percent is now taking almost 43 so the better part of uh, two days to get up to 100 percent when you're at that lower rate and again you can see that's because we're getting the um, 120 volts out of the regular outlet and then at 12 amps, that's gonna ramp up to that 1.2, 1.3 kilowatt level. And in a pinch could be enough if you just needed to add a little bit of range or you're staying somewhere at a camp and doing mostly camp local activities. Or... But in a pinch, we have both of those adapters for both of those use cases in one unit and uh, with only the extra adapter as the extra weight. So pretty nice solution, works on both. And let's see how they fit up front in the front. 
So obviously one of the first advantages is the socket compatibility, being able to use those interchangeable adapters as uh, you purchase more and more, depending on the ones that you'll need, eight different conventional sockets that conform to those North American standards and give you more flexibility to plug in wherever you are, as long as you have those adapters in place and ready to go. Which then also leads on to the versatility of being able to move it through the 6 amp range all the way up to 40 amps. So obviously we're not quite maxing out the car here, as I talked to you, it's at 9.5 four kilowatts but that's really going to be enough it's in that nice middle zone where you're going to be able to plug in at that relatively low 20 30 percent state of charge and easily recharge overnight so nice versatility there and the fact that it's doing the sensing for you and selecting the highest highest safe amperage that it can use so that you don't have to worry about those calculations we do also have the wall mounted uh, bracket that you can use to put it at home if that's something you want to use as a slightly more, not permanent, but a fixed solution for your home charging. So just a note on the wall mounting here, this isn't uh, a permanent fixture by any stretch of the imagination for me, but uh, you could certainly see how that could be useful. It's nice and uh, minimalist, it doesn't take up much more than the uh, unit itself. And then that can be locked into place here with a uh, kind of wire lock that can tighten up into these uh, holsters so that's useful um, the only limitation at least in our application is you have the outlet down there and the uh, this is mounted this way you could mount it the other way i guess although that wouldn't be ideal and then this is sitting on top once it's connected and uh, you'd have to have the outlet in the right place so you just have to think about where you mounted it and uh, you know if you wanted to have it so that you could have this at kind of a level where you're either accessing it with your hand or be able to see you know we wouldn't want it all the way down there so we're going to get a nice readout on here of the amperage we've got the uh, different fault codes here booster car socket no ground ccid 20 and hot so there are two four six fault codes on that line and we'll look at the manual to see the rest but you can certainly see uh, the very clear levels there of the different uh, amperage levels then moving on to compliance and safety uh, there's all kinds in here it's a really uh, well-established company over in europe in switzerland and juice america is carrying that same rugged safe uh, compliant brand value over to the uh, J plus booster too. There's uh, fault identification built in, so it's going to detect different types of fault, up to seven different types, from the supply line all the way to the vehicle, and it's gonna indicate them on the unit when there's a fault and uh, stop the charging accordingly, as you would expect. Then you move on to certification. So it has all the required uh, UL certifications for the United States and Canada, which we'll put up on the screen here, and you know you're covered from those UL certifications, so that's another check in its favor so well enclosed rugged unit very durable from the feel of it initially for the most part you know you want something that is easy to plug in and will do a lot of the work for you and that right out of the box is something that we've done right here we've uh, unpacked it taken a look and uh, are off to the races with a 9.4 kilowatt charge so there's the full kit Everything fits not uh, maybe as neatly. You could certainly rearrange it a little bit to uh, move some of the bulkier stuff at the bottom up. But you've got your NEMA 1450 right here, the TT30 right here, your 515, the J Plus Booster 2 unit at the back there, just kind of lurching into the edge of the frunk. Still got plenty of room for an adapter or two right there. I've got a kettle and the battery booster for the 12 volt right underneath it. And that maximizes that uh, small but useful, not quite one cubic feet of space under there. And it fits nicely. So one of the benefits of reviewing products around this time of year is that there are typically deals available on them and it does look like the J Plus Booster 2 is uh, going to be reduced for Black Friday and into the holidays. So if you use the link down in the description and comments you'll be able to find the various stores for that and it will be available for as low as $349 which for this unit is really a very good deal uh, for the bog standard kind of uh, portable home chargers that uh, we were looking at uh, kind of 
Hyundai comparison one, uh, those are going to be in that ballpark, maybe a little bit cheaper, but for what you're getting for that extra engineering, the ruggedness of it, the ability to pick and choose adapters as you need them. That's uh, So that $349 starting price is a really good deal for this package because the regular pricing is as follows. The value set, which has the J Plus Booster 2 with the 21 foot cable, the NEMA 1450 plug, and the storage case. That was uh, starting at $599, so you can already see we're way down on that with the offer here. Uh, then you can upgrade to the Value Plus set on regular pricing for $649, which still has the 21 foot cable, but it includes then the wall bracket and the NEMA 515 adapter for the regular outlets. And then another set offers uh, for $679, the uh, 25 foot cable, the NEMA 515 and the 1450, with the wall bracket and the bag. So there's a lot of value in there. I'm getting some of that kit for almost up to half off in this particular holiday sale. And it is one that we're going to use a lot more. So you can watch out for further tests, with it obviously in the freezer right now, uh, so that we can test out that cable and how that unwraps in the winter. We'll also test the TT30 adapter, look at how it kind of integrates with campsite life and put it in generally more outdoorsy conditions where it will be exposed to more dust, sand, adverse weather conditions potentially, and just see how it holds up in those circumstances. So more tests to come, but for now, very impressed with this unit. Let us know what you think. Is this a unit that you would consider for your travels or something even as your home charging unit? Do you have one? Have you put it through its paces and found that it holds up to the stress? And what other use cases could you see this for? What are you looking for when you are looking at certifications for this type of product? Let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.